What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people be asking me about the drill culture. A lot of people ask me about the legends that's involved in the drill culture. To be honest with you, a lot of people are always asking me about Chief Keith and stuff like that. But you know who I'm also asked about a lot is a guy by the name of Mubu Crump. Today I get one of his family members. We all know exactly who this is, this Bam Duwop. Uh, I interviewed him several times. Actually, when I stopped doing interviews uh, for a little while, I came back about maybe 11 months ago. This was the first guy I contacted when I started doing face-to-face -face interviews. Now, for the people who don't know what's going on, in case anybody ain't got their hearing on today, you are tell me exactly what your name is and where you're from, bro. Bam, do wild I'm from the rack, baby. Now, you just said something. I think it's dope. A lot of people don't say that. You just said the rack. You're not going, it's not a certain neighborhood. No, nah, I'm from the rack, baby. I'm from where gangsters good and goofies ain't. Pool. Most definitely. Because, you know, a lot of people I get in front of that camera, they tend to scream like numbers or somebody who passed away and renamed the hood after them. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm Bam Do out from the rack. Crump or die. Right. But I have seen shit like all throughout the cities. It's, a lot of people feel like you're from the east side. You, you can say that. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to ask you something I ask a lot of people. A lot of people going to say, truth, you're asking them that again, but I'm going to ask you, where is the east side? I mean, that shit, people, some motherfuckers say stay to the lake, some motherfuckers say out to Stony. You feel me? Like, it's either or however you want to word the shit, but it could be stay to the lake if you ask me. Right. Is that saying, does that cause friction? That shit don't bother me. Like, that shit be entertainment for y'all. Like, if I'm bored, like, I ain't like, it be entertainment for me, too. Like, that shit don't bother me. Like, only thing that fuck with me is, like, when these other niggas get up here and try and chase it off folks' name, like, try and be disrespectful and say shit they would never say if folks was here. Like, you can have a couple of these niggas up here that want to come crump this, crump that. Man, you don't even fucking know crump, you fucking goofy. Keep folks' name out your mouth. Only reason why I'm always going to say something, a nigga not finna chase it off my people's name. You feel me? Like, go play that shit with somebody else. Like, that won't kill you. Man, I wanted to know that. Because I be seeing a lot of things. I'm not saying I'm a kid, but I just say anybody that mentioned folks' name, they, they die somehow. I don't know how. Do Did you catch any of his beef, though? Yeah. Because the sure. documentaries make it seem like he had a lot of ops. You call him anyone? Man, like, the, the way this shit go is, before this internet shit was what it was today, motherfuckers in the city... That had fame, like either you was known for hooping, you're a street nigga, dress, you always had a car. Motherfuckers had fame in the streets before this. Like he's one of them niggas that had fame before the internet. So if you associated with him, if you like folks, he loves you. If you don't like him, he hated you. You feel me? That's just how that shit went. So just by association with him, a lot of niggas just seem like in pictures and shit, or just if you out moving around through the city with him, they, they know what type of time he on. So if you with him, they just gonna assume you're on that same type of time. And if you ain't, you fuck around be a victim. So shit, I ain't never wanted to be no victim. So shit, mm -hmm. get with it or get lost. You know, Bam, can you give me an in-depth look at Crump? Because it seemed like 99% of his videos the internet uploaded, or 99% of the videos that's on the internet shows Crump in like mode, you know? Mm -hmm. Going hard, aggressive, snapping. Being kind of funny in a disrespectful way. Right. He had another side though, didn't he? Right. For sure. Like, yeah, like this. I wouldn't even say 90%. I say, if that's what the fuck you going looking for, that's what you going to find. But really, to be honest with you, that shit was like way later on. Like, he always was who he was. But at the same time, you know, it's other shit. Like, I do the same shit. I be on the internet. I get into my little internet shit I do, but at the same time, you'll catch me doing that shit, you'll catch me with my kids, catch me doing everyday normal shit, like, that's just how it goes, so I don't feel like it's 90%, like, now if you go look at folks' names, you see a bunch of niggas chasing on folks' names, like I said, but other than that, like, no, nah, I don't think it was a whole lot of negative shit, like, he, he had, you know, a lot of shit going on, he had music, and the little time he was here, he was out, nigga dropped six videos, you feel me, them bitches all did numbers, uh, the other shit just tend to overshadow the bullshit, you know what I'm right. like, That's pretty, pretty pretty much it. Like, that's why I say I don't want niggas that he coming, crump this, crump that. At the same time, you got to think, 
just like a motherfucker type his name in, them documentaries and shit pop up, right. all this other shit pop up too. And, you know, the family see this. Like, his kids going to see this. So when they come on oh. here and disrespect and say, oh, folks was a troll, man, get your big goofy ass off folks' camera. You fucking goofy. All you niggas is bitches. Like, stop saying folks' name. Get the fuck. Go find you something to do. Say your homie name and don't fuck with you. That's what you'll get more clout off that saying you stuck, broke in the motherfucking trenches and a nigga left you here and saying folks' name. You know, Bam, that just kind of hit me real quick. That kind of just gave me a brain freeze. For a second, I think I might have forgot about that. The family does see these documentaries and blogs and shit, not just the homies. I mean, yeah, like, they don't really get up and let me go check and see what motherfuckers right. say. But you know how this shit go? Like, when shit get in circulation and motherfuckers see it, bro. Oh. I done seen you in a few internet beefs too, now, Bam. I done seen you going with, like, Barney and... Through these OTF guys and things like that, you know? That's my boy. Like, Barney, he started with me. Like, I'm going to tell y'all for real. Like, I don't be beefing with Barney. That's my fucking guy. Like, y'all be misunderstanding me and Barney's relationship. Like, when first, when Crump first passed, Barney came trying to like pictures, trying to be funny and shit. Uh, okay, so it kept, at first it stayed in the DM between me and him. Like, we just passed a little message back and forth. He was just trying to see why I'm trying to do his homework or whatever. All the niggas he asks about me, they really goofies. They really can't tell you shit. But it went from just going to DM and him trying to play, make little posts. You know, I've just seen documentaries about Crump, things that kind of like portray him a certain way. And it seemed like the internet want to tell his story. I want to ask you some questions to kind of set the record straight on some certain things. Uh -huh. um, was it true he was outside or he was inside at a party? If I can ask that. Because I seen the video that said that he was like inside of a party. Then I seen the other video that said he was outside on the porch. And... It was outside. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was, it was a little party. Like, you know how parties go. Shit, get I was moving around. It was really in the street. It was a bunch of motherfuckers outside. I wasn't there. You feel me? I wasn't on scene. You feel me? So I said, I'm just going off what a motherfucker told me. Uh -huh. They was outside moving through the streets. It was a bunch of motherfuckers outside. Really. Is this like an op neighborhood or something like that? Uh, nah, it was, he was with, you feel me, some people he fucked with, but it was close to one of the ops who was, but nah, he wasn't in no op neighborhood. You know, I'm not gonna lie, though, you know, Crump been in the culture for a while, and he seemed like he was very smart. Mm hmm You know, um, he was aware of his fame. For he sure. He was aware that he was big. For sure, yeah. But he ain't, uh, uh. Saying that because he was at a party. Oh, yeah, but no, it wasn't no shit like that. Like, folks wasn't never, this shit ain't never moved him. This rap shit, this fine. I said he was famous before the internet hit. So, like, there wasn't none of this shit new to him. Like, how he was moving all around that time, he knew what the fuck he was doing. Like, everything he did, he wasn't trolling. Like I say, you can't troll with the truth. The truth is the truth. You see what I'm saying? He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Right. You feel me? That's all I, I can say about that. Like, it wasn't no... Uh, he don't know how to move or none of that shit. He was just, sometimes you move too fast, you know? Right. But ain't nobody move better than him. And I want to ask you